Hello friends, this is Rishi Gupta and today I am here with a book review and the book that I am going to going to be talking about is uh, the second book from the Tales of the Authority which is Grass for His Pillow. So guys, uh, this is part of the trilogy uh, by Leanne Hearn and I had I have already read the first book which was Across the Nightingale Floor and it was really a good read. I mean after a long time I got a good series to read. Uh, so now, now I also done, I'm also done with the uh, second book and I must say uh, as often is the case with trilogies uh, in, in when there are three books that you have to read the first one is normally that uh, something that you know introduces the story introduces the characters uh, you know build builds up the characters uh, gives you the plot you are able to understand what's happening in the story uh, and especially something that is mythical something that is uh, you know uh, set in a fictional world uh, these kind of books are really interesting when they begin and uh, more often than not the second book is kind of you know consolidating on the first book consolidating on the plot uh, giving you some more insights into the uh, plot and the characters and is kind of building up towards the finale which is the third book so pretty much Grass for his pillow does this job it consolidates on the first book it, it consolidates on the plot it gives you more information about the characters but you kind of uh, understand that the story is not moving too much you know the story is not uh, having a lot of plot twists the story is not you know uh, moving very fast uh, and you are kind of uh, you have kind of understood that nothing major is going to happen in this book you have to you know just go through this book so that you can reach to the final book which will have a lot of action and a lot of uh, you know probably pay off uh, uh, you know so so that is the kind of book that this is i'm not saying it's not a good read uh, yeah it's a good read uh, it has uh, it has the good uh, quality writing that i appreciate in the first book as well uh, so but still I, I found that you know it was not as interesting you know uh, so just uh, again uh, I'll just uh, do a quick recap of the uh, uh, place where they left the characters at the end of the first book so if you remember Takeo was uh, claimed by the tribe and he has he had committed himself to serving the tribe uh, Kaede uh, was at Tereyama and she was about to go to, back to her own uh, estate uh, which was at uh, which was at, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused about the names, uh, which was at Shiragawa. So uh, this is more about the ground realities, about how uh, much these people have to grind, you know, to 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 uh, fulfill their destiny, kind of, you know. Uh, so uh, Kaede is trying to figure out uh, how to maintain her estate, which is kind of in ruins because her father faced defeat at the hands of Arai and uh, they are not doing too well because of the storm and rains and stuff. So she is, you know, uh, trying to build her estate from the ground up and trying to seek some help from a neighboring nobleman which is Lord Fujiwara. So this is what's happening with Kaede and uh, uh, Takeo is kind of you know paying the price for the uh, commitment that he had made to the tribe and is being trained by a, a not so good guy called Akio in the ways of the tribe and he is constantly having this you know uh, internal struggle that uh, continuously tells him that he does not belong here. So again spoiler if you have not read this probably you should just skip it uh, here but uh, towards the end uh, you know uh, uh, Takeo has uh, fled the tribe and gone to the temple at Teriyama uh, and Kaede has uh, you know on, on her on her pretext of going to uh, Lord Arai goes to Teriyama and meets with Takeo and they marry so this is pretty much what happens in the story I'm, I'm sure there are certain uh, finer plot points that I'm not mentioning right now but this is where the story is nothing much moves nothing much happens uh, this is this is where what it can be summed up and probably you're good to go to the next book uh, so uh, that that's my uh, gripe about the book not uh, a lot did not happen but yeah it was a pleasant read it was kind of a breeze you know it was kind of a, a, a small journey that you have to take to reach to the final destination which is the final book which will have a lot of payoff that's what I'm assuming at least uh, so guys uh, a fair read uh, if you are definitely reading the series you uh, definitely has to have to go through this book uh, and uh, it, it's a pleasant read you can definitely have a read but I'm sure I am expecting a lot of payoff in the final book uh, because there's, there has been a lot of build up there has been a lot of backstory and now it needs to pay off uh, so guys that's my review of uh, Grass for his pillow uh, if you have read, uh, read it already you can you know tell me in the comments what did you think about the book and I'm in the process of reading the final book i'll talk about that as well once i am done with uh, it so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, like share comment and we'll be talking about a lot more in the future thank you so much